Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. And uh, today I'd like to go through some watch, watch terminology. And before I start the first clip here, just have a quick look at this great tie. And uh, I picked this up from uh, Lifeline in the city. That's their boutique store. And uh, I think I paid 10 bucks. And just have a look at what brand it is there. It's a Zegna tie. Look at that. There's some bargains. There's some bargains around. And uh, it's not fluffy at the top. It hasn't had much wear at all. Great little piece. Okay, watch terms. What can we look at today? And one of the most confused terms is the term chronometer. What is a chronometer? And uh, many people confuse chronometer with chronograph and uh, many people um, also you know particularly Rolex if you look at the Rolex dial officially certified superlative chronometer what does that mean very 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 simple answer to this now, a chronometer what's a chronometer a chronometer is a high precision watch Okay, that's what a chronometer is, high precision watch. So a chronometer can merely, it could merely display minutes, hours and seconds. It doesn't need a whole lot of other stuff there. A chronometer can also, a chronometer could also be, have a stopwatch function. That's a chronograph, which is also a chronometer. Now, Rolex themselves, they often, they often have got pieces which have been tested by an independent Swiss council and they issue a certificate. Now the interesting thing is when Rolex does send these pieces in, say you had a Rolex day date which has, it tells you the date and the day, so say it would say it's Monday the 15th, they actually only send the movement with uh, I believe it's seconds minutes and hours so the other parts are not on the watch and they basically test it and issue a certificate so a chronometer the easiest way to think of it is it's a high precision watch chronograph is the stopwatch function I made a separate video about what is a chronograph so you technically could have a chronograph which is also a chronometer but a chronometer is a high precision watch. So it's very, very simple. Now, some people have said to me, Oh, Archie, I noticed the Rolex, it says it's, uh, it's an officially certified blah, blah, blah. Does that mean it's better than, say, a Patek Philippe? Patek Philippe or a Jago Le Coultre, which doesn't actually say it's certified chronometer on the piece. Now, the answer to that is, to use those words that Rolex use, officially certified, blah, 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 they need to be certified by uh, the governing body, which does that, and um, they give a certificate. Now, that doesn't mean that a Jager Le Coultre, which isn't a certified piece, is any lesser watch. That just, just refers to that Rolex has gone to that step of getting it certified. A, a chronometer itself there, is it better than, say, a piece that's non-certified? Well, it's like Archie. Archie's got 20 years IT experience. He doesn't have a, a IT degree. Does that mean he's any less than a 25-year-old uh, with an IT degree? Well, it's horses and courses. And uh, you don't necessarily need the certification to be a high-end watchmaker. And these watchmakers themselves, like, say, Patek Philippe, or say Vacheron. Vacheron often has a thing called a Geneva seal. And the Geneva seal is something completely different again. Whereas Rolex is a officially certified chronometer, a Geneva seal is a different body who judges the, the finish of the movement. How is the, the movement uh, what qualities does it have there? It's less 
the timekeeping ability. And then you have people like Patek Philippe, again, who said, well, we've got our own Patek Philippe seal. And uh, when you're Patek Philippe, I mean, it's like Rolls-Royce saying we've got the Rolls-Royce seal. When you're Rolls-Royce, you can get away with it. If any other watchmaker did it, they'd be laughed. That'd be the laughing stock. But when your standards are Patek Philippe standards, you you can pull it off. And, and Patek Philippe said, well, we've got the Patek Philippe seal, which is not only like the Geneva seal, but it also looks at the aesthetics of the watch itself. How does the, the leather strap integrate with it? What's, you know, it's more than just how the movement is finished. And um, I got to say, there's some merit in all of those. But the term chronometer itself, it relates to, Rolex often uses the term, and it relates to getting, it's, it's, it's a high quality piece. I'm Archie Luxury. I hope I've explained the term without confusing everyone. Please give me your feedback and let me know what you think.